So what are the best rune farms in the game right now as of 1.04.2? Today guys, I showcase you the best rune farms in this game. How's it going guys? My name is DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more out of the ring, be sure to subscribe. So there are four or five great rune farms in this game, but there's one or two which are utterly incredible. Now hopefully there's a room farm for everybody today, but a lot of these do require a little bit of work in regards to getting to certain areas in order to actually abuse some of these room farming spots. Okay, so we're going to start with the best. The best room farm in this game as of right now takes place within the Mogwin Dynasty area. There's a grace point called the Palace Approach Ledge Road, which is home to a hill full of enemies. In non-New Game Plus guys, so this is out of New Game, this is your first playthrough, these enemies can give you upwards of 2,000 runes each. Take them out and you get an absolute ton. The best way in taking out these enemies on this hill is by far the Relic Sword. This is rewarded to you though by defeating the last boss in the Elden Beast. So yeah, if you haven't taken out the last boss, you can't farm this hill with this weapon but guys there are other ways in which you can farm this hill with other weapons which although they ain't as efficient as the relic sword uh, they do make farming these enemies super super easy those weapons are the mogwin's sacred spear the ruins great sword and the blasphemous blade what i've done guys is i've made a video already which i'll link in the video description showcasing to you all these weapons how you get them, how you use them, as well as a method for mages to do this and farm this hill as well. But yeah, if you want to check that out, you'll find it linked in the video description. But yeah, guys, the hill is still by far the best farm for runes in this game. Another great farm for runes is the bird, the popular bird farm. This takes place within the same spot, the Palace Approach Ledge Road. So basically from this grace point guys, if you stand up off it, look down to your left, you'll see a bird. You shoot this bird with an arrow, it will run off the map, you get between 11 and 13k runes. Simply sit back down at the grace, stand back up, rinse and repeat the process guys, and you get a ton of runes. It really is that simple. Another great farm within this area, and it's an exploit where you can throw yourself off the map on your horse keep swinging that weapon what happens is you fall so far down the map despawns all the enemies fall down they die you get their runes you can get upwards of 100k every single time it takes about a minute and a half to do this the best way in doing this guys is to follow the path i take on screen now from the palace approach ledge road so follow the path i take to this basically small graveyard and i'll catch you there when we arrive So from here guys, you jump down to the side right here, as you can see me doing, turn back on yourself, jump through the map and make sure you double jump on your horse, go through the map, go through the wall and just continue to swing that weapon. Eventually guys, after about a minute of falling, you will notice you'll get a ton of runes. From here guys, fast travel back to that palace approach ledge road and repeat the process. Now these farms all take place within the Mogwin Dynasty area. In order to do this guys, you need to be able to get to this spot. Now to get to this spot guys, it requires either one or two ways, one or two methods. The first method and the early game method is to complete the white faced Vari quest line, which I'll link a guide to in the video description. Upon you uh, completing this quest line guys, you get the pure blood knights medal. Activate this guys, then you get sent straight to this area where you can farm millions of runes. Another way in which you can get to this area, guys, is to do it via the mountain tops of the giants, via the hidden path to the Halig Tree area. There is a teleporter right here on the map. This will take you straight to the Mogwin Dynasty area. Now, there are a couple of other methods in which you can throw yourself off the map swinging on that horse, and these take place on Grand Zero. 
These take place within the main tops of the giants. But again, both of these spots are within the hidden path to the Halley Tree area. The first spot is within the Ordina Liturgical Town. This is an area that when you first come to guys and traverse around this place, you'll notice that there is an actual a stairs that lead up to a door which is sealed off. To actually open this door guys, you need to go to the Ever Jail, go inside of it, light four candles, you'll be teleported back out. The seal will go. Behind this seal is a teleporter. Now if you run on your horse right next to this teleporter, double jump, delaying that second jump, and just fall and swing, you will get yourself a ton of runes. Again, fast travelling back to the Grace, the Ordina Liturgical Time Grace, and you can simply from there just repeat the process. Another spot in which you can do this guys, is from the Annex Tunnel right here. So you can travel down to this tunnel people, go inside of the tunnel, activate the Grace, from the Grace turn back on yourself, take the lift up, and then just follow the path how I do and jump off the map via the right side of this rock. Again, double jump on your horse, as you fall, continuously swing. Again guys, you'll get roughly 100k runes. Once that happens, fast travel back to the Annex Tunnel Grace and repeat the process. But yeah guys, as of right now, those are the best rune farming spots in Elden Ring. By far though, the best always takes place within the Mogwin Dynasty area. Now guys, to each individual farm here, you'll find linked in the video description as well as means into getting to the Mugwin Dynasty area either via the Whiteface Valley quest line or via that hidden portal within the concentrated Snowfields area aka the hidden path to the Halley Tree aka the mountain tops of the Giants but there we have it guys guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more out of the ring be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people I will see you on that next one